Hello Vinaka, welcome to the Time Sports Show. What a week we have ahead of us. The 2024 Coca-Cola Games, the Fiji Finals that is, will start on Thursday at the HFC Bank Stadium in Suva. And to talk more about that with us today, we have uh, Fiji Athletics coach, also the Marish Brothers High School head coach, uh, Antonio Rambuiluku with us to speak more about the games. Uh, Mr. Rambuiluku, thank you for your time. Uh, very busy person right now, not only assisting Maris, but uh, he has to assist other uh, teams as well other schools as well as is the Fiji Athletics coach so we're seeing a lot of things uh, we'll start with Maris the coach uh, defending champions uh, you won it after a lapse of seven years last year going in with a bit of pressure there's uh, other schools who have uh, who have shown their capabilities this year during the zones so in terms of preparations how is how's, uh, how has it gone for Maris this year yes uh, for us it's uh, nothing new uh you know, same thing that we did last year. Uh, we're just following the steps that we took. Uh, right now, our concentration is just on the team. Uh, we are just putting the values together, values of respect, uh, humility, and uh, just waiting for Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday afternoon will be our last session, training session. And then come Thursday, uh, we'll see what happens on the tracks. Mm. It was quite close last year, uh, difference of four gold medals, uh, you finished first. A lot of people are saying it will be closer this year. Uh, your thoughts on you know how you've seen the results during the zones. Uh, Super Grandma have, uh, have proven themselves. Uh, MGM uh, have also shown uh, what they could do in the Super Zone 1 as well. Uh, RKS is there as well. So your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, um, you know, uh, for sports, when uh when the winner keeps changing, that makes the competition interesting and and uh, tough. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the girls' division, uh, ACS has been winning for quite a while, and uh, it'll take uh, it'll take some time for any other school to come up and challenge. Eh? But for the boys, since it's changing every year, uh, then everyone knows they have a chance to take that title. And uh, uh, for us at Marist, uh, you know, we were blessed last year with the win. Uh, but it's always easy to go and win. Uh, it's harder to challenge eh? uh, and defend. And for us this year, it's our year to defend. And uh, just looking at the zones, um, uh, even from our own zone, uh, uh, with the uh, Super Grandma, eh? uh, Super Grandma, uh, we are not counting them out as they have uh, a lot of good track athletes which can win gold again at the Coca-Cola Games. And then we have uh, the two giants from Televu, eh? uh, Kivis and uh, Arkes. And if you see the Televu zone, the results were determined in the last uh, event, which is the 4x4. Four four. And uh, Arkes won just because of the 4x4, four four. they had good 4x4 four four teams. And, and I'm sure the same scenario will be seen at this year's Coca-Cola Games. Uh, whichever team uh, has the best relay teams, uh, come the day, especially in terms of 4x4, four four, eh? they are the ones that uh, uh, most probably have uh, a taste of uh, uh, the champions of 2024. But then we, we are not counting out uh, Natambu High School, uh, Super 1 uh, champ, MGM. Uh, you know, uh, for us, like I said, we are concentrating on ourselves in trying to respect all athletes, you know, at the same time humble ourselves and just there to participate and do our best and enjoy what we're doing come the three days of Coca-Cola Games. Mm. Now, Coach, every year the focus, a lot of focus is on the tracks uh, from the spectators' point of view. Even the media focus on the tracks a lot. But uh, Marist has proven in the past the Games is usually one of the tracks, which is on the field events. <coughs> Marist has dominated the field events in the boys' division. Uh, how's, how's your field uh, looking this year? Uh, well, yeah, definitely, um, you know, it's, it's been a long time. Uh, from two gold medals in 2022 to 13 in 2024. And uh, if you look at the increase, uh, our field events uh, was one of our powerhouses. Eh? Uh, and, uh, you know, but uh, times have also changed. Mars is known for field events, but now I think Athletics Fiji and uh, Team Fiji Fashion, okay? There's a lot of uh, OSEP courses that are going and a lot of. Uh, coaching uh, education and so a lot of coaches now have the uh, 
have the same skills that Mars used to have, and uh, in doing so, they're spreading it to other schools. Eh? So it's it's a uh, it's a norm for us to say that Mars used to be strong in the field, but uh, for me this year. I mean, I look at all the zones, you can see, I mean, you can see the Mbalaka boy that won the gold medal in Solomon's uh, Pacific Games. Uh, he's a bronze medalist in the Coca-Cola Games, but he won gold in uh, Pacific. the Pacific Games. So, you know, uh, it, it totally means that it's no longer concentrated on a school, but it has gone out to other schools as well. And a lot of uh, Maris Rose are coaches in other schools too. Uh, you know, they have spread it. Uh, gospel of uh, the field events and uh, if you look at our coaches too in school uh, we have a lot of uh, national reps and uh, national coaches uh, in Marist so we don't only concentrate to on Marist we we assist other schools that uh, need help and in doing that you know we are spreading the word right? so if you look at us uh, the, the schools in our surrounding Yetsen, uh, MGM uh, a few Jainarayan uh, athletes that need help for uh, field events. Mm. They, they come to these coaches because these coaches are well versed with it. Eh? And so we have never stopped spreading the gospel. We keep uh, helping other schools that uh, come and request for help and at the same time uh, raising the bar in uh, field events in terms of athletics. Mm. Of course, be before we move to your other capacity as the Fiji Athletics coach, uh, a day and a half away from the start of the Coca-Cola Games, defending champions, Maris, I know you've done your homework, you must have done your <laughs> mathematics as well. Uh, this, you know, Regardless of where you finish, uh, well, what's the aim for Maris this year? How many gold medals are you looking at? Well, you know, it's, as always, our aim is to improve from where we last, uh, left off last year. Last year we, we had 13 gold medals, so we are not going to go down because that's not in terms of improvement. Eh? So we'll try to either maintain or at least get another gold, which is maybe 14 or 15. Eh? But that, that is our plan. You know? But come the day on the field, it's anyone's um, day. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, we really have to respect uh, all other athletes and uh, you know, look out for the, for the rural schools. They are the they are the live wire in this competition, and they make it interesting by taking gold medals from the big schools. Eh? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Said into 15 gold medals is the aim for Maris. <laughs> uh, now we'll head, uh, you know, in, in terms of uh, you know you being the national coach, one of the coaches for the athletics Fiji, Coca-Cola Games, you know, whole nation's eyes uh, on on the games. Uh, this year's games is quite more interesting with uh, more interest coming in from this, uh, you know, little schools that are taking part. And I guess this could be one of the most competitive <coughs> games we have ever witnessed. Mm. Yeah, I think um, you know, this year's Coca-Cola games will be quite interesting. And we have the new tracks at uh, the stadium which, uh, you know, benefits a lot of athletes. In the last few years, uh, using the old track, uh, it's been it's a bit worn out and uh, you know it uh, takes away that um, the pride of uh, running on the national stadium eh? uh, and we thank the current government for for the new track uh, because it will bring out the best in all the athletes that are, are going to compete and uh, for us uh, at national level you know we we can't wait to see the new talents come out uh, for us in athletics, we're in a rebuilding phase, and uh, we hope uh, and pray that come Coco Games, we have a lot of new athletes that will come up to represent Fiji. Mm. As far as after the Coca Games is concerned, we've always asked what's it for the athletes after the Coca Games. There's something to look forward for the athletes this year with the Oceania Games coming up and uh, speaking to the Acting Secretary, Mr. Zalati, he was saying the cream of athletes will be sent uh, to Queensland uh, Games as well. So that, that is something uh, for the athletes to look forward to and maybe, you know, like that extra bit of push that was required before the Games? Oh yes, definitely. Um, you know, for all sports, uh, when there's a clear pathway, the athletes too will know what to do. Eh? Mm. Uh, for us before, I think, uh, Secondary school only ends up in Coca-Cola games because in term two they start with rugby. Eh? Uh, so not everybody goes and play rugby or netball or what other sports. There are some uh, athletes that are just made for athletics and, and these athletes will fit well into what uh, Mr. Biu has uh, mentioned. 
that um, you know uh, straight after the Coco Games they'll continue. And um, you know, there's something that uh, I mean the public needs to know uh, that there are athletic scholarships out there. And uh, when you when you apply for scholarships, uh, a few criteria will come, and one of them is representing Fiji. So when you represent the country. Uh, it gives you more accreditation when you do an application for uh, U.S. or Australia uh, tertiary scholarships, eh? and I think um, you know most athletes think that after Coco Games there's nothing else there. But um, you know, with the pathway that we have right now, we, we hope to send athletes every year to mm -hmm. study in overseas, uh, whether it'll be at USA uh, universities or at uh, the Griffith University in uh, Brisbane. Mm. Now there's about 3,000 athletes that will be taking part, but everyone won't be winning medals. Uh, like you mentioned about the Balata kid, he, he finished as, as a third place getter at the Coke Games and then went on to win gold for Fiji at the Pacific Games. So it's not the end if, if they don't do well at the Coke Games. A lot of athletes feel disheartened after, you know, they don't make it and some end up leaving sports. So there's, there's always a future to look forward to even if you don't make it. Yes, um, you know, um because maybe, uh, you know, in the olden days, the way sports was uh, designed was it's always about winning. Eh? So mm. uh, that has taken the picture away. And, and like I said, because of the, there's a lot of sporting educations that come. And if you look at the, the age group of 14 to 18, it's still the developmental age. And uh, uh, when you're in the developmental age, there's no focus on winning. It's always about improvement. It's always about uh, learning more. And then uh, when you leave 18 years old, when you are 19, so officially you're an adult. At the same time, you're also expected to perform and win. Eh? So if you look at uh, national teams, most of them, they begin at 18 years and over. So it's because of that reason. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no pressure beneath under 18 for you to win or perform. So. Uh, winning is always a bonus when it comes to competition, but we push more on uh, uh, having a personal best or seasonal best because that shows that you are improving. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's really important for athletes to understand that uh, what's the difference between being a better athlete and just an athlete who comes to win and then goes again. Eh? So thank you very much for your time, Coach. Uh, it was really good having you on the show. And uh, from us here, we wish you and your Maris team all the best for, for the upcoming Cooks. Nice. And of course, uh, you, know, you being there, I'm pretty sure you'll have an eye out for other athletes heading up into the Oceania game. So thank you very much once again. Nice. Nice. There you go, there was uh, the Fiji Athletics coach, uh, Antonio Rambuiluku, and of course, uh, the Maris Brothers High School head coach. We'll have more on, uh, more on the Coca-Cola games uh, later, till we meet again, Nisa Mode.